All right, so I know this this video is like really, really overdue. Like, so I made a video of when I was starting Swift and uh, and so a lot of stuff has changed since then, since that whole orientation thing. Um, I guess I, um, I think I pretty much covered everything in the orientation video. So, but other than that, um, basically, I've left Swift, went to another company, and actually, right now, I'm in the process of making a transition to another company from the company that I went to leaving from Swift. So... Pretty much, uh, I stayed with Swill for six months, and pretty much, uh, stayed with Swill for six months, went to a company called Arnold Transportation, uh, for a couple of months, and now I'm going to another company. So, let me explain, let me explain, let me explain. So, Swill is... I, I don't really have mm, no negative feelings about Swift, but I feel like Swift is a good company to go to when you start off. You know, to if you don't got your CDL, you don't have no experience. But I quick, quickly learned that Swift is a good starter company. Either you're a new driver or you're helping to create new drivers. Me, I don't want to be a trainer. I don't want to put my life in the hands of somebody else. <laughs> but I know for sure you can make a lot of money if you want to be a trainer. So six months, uh, generally, you can find another company after six months. Um, pretty decent. I got. I went to Arnold Transportation, and they offered me, you know, to go home every day. So, okay, so back to Swift. Why I left Swift? Uh, I mean, the pay was not the best. I mean, it was still more than what I've, what I made before. Uh, what pissed me off and made me want to leave, <laughs> they sent me all the way to California, San Diego, and had me a load going to Florida. Orlando, from San Diego to Orlando. Great miles, great miles, great miles. The issue is, I had to wait eight days to deliver that. Wait eight days to make a trip that can take four days. I mean, <laughs> positive thing is, I was able to go to San Diego's beach I mean, my first time being to California, you know, and at the same time, I was able to go to a beach in Orlando. All of this in, like, one week. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I mean, I'm from Houston, so, like, we got Galveston, and, yeah, both of those beaches are better, but I would say Orlando's beach. Man, I... If I chose California Beach or Florida Beach, I go to Florida. And apparently, they was like, if you go uh, further down south, that water is just amazing. <laughs> but uh, so I love Swift because I mean I was making money. It was a lot of times I had to sit. Um, it was a lot of times. Another thing that pissed me off, my little brother graduated, and I put in my notice to go back home. They got me all the way to, well, I think it was Wisconsin, and was not able to get me back home in time for my little brother's graduation. They had me trying to, they, they kept on trying to get me to go further up north. I'm like, hold on, I'm supposed to be home in two days. <laughs> I actually, I think at that point it was already 
that time where I put in my notice to go back home, but it was get, getting to the point because I know uh, just to make sure, supposedly to make sure that you get home on time, they uh, suggest that you put in your home notice uh, like a day or two before. This is like the second day I'm out that I'm supposed to be home. So, well, I put in, I want to be home on Thursday, Thursday night, it's like Friday morning, graduation was Sunday. They did not get me home until Monday. I miss my little brother's graduation. He's not going to graduate from high school no more. Like, I'm supposed to be, I'm like trying to be like my little brother's uh, mentor or someone that he can look up to. And I'm over here missing his graduation. Yeah, that, that's not going to fly. Yeah, um, important events like that, you cannot give back, you know? So, yeah. So, after that, like, that that wasn't even, like, the same time. That that did not make me, make me leave. But that's when I started to get irritated. I would be out so far, and they had a hard time getting me back home. And, you know, just sitting around, chilling. Pay wasn't, like, what they said I was going to be making. Well, you have to also uh, remember when they... When a comp- trucking company say how much you'll be making, you got to remember that is before taxes. And even then, it's not guaranteed. Oh, not a funny thing. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about Swift. Swift, I mean, it's pretty awesome. Uh, newer trucks, newer trailers, they brought, like, the oldest truck you m- might get into is, like, three years old. Uh, for an average of like a two year old truck, pretty much uh up to date uh equipment. I kind of do miss those trucks to be honest, but it's like yes, you're in a cool truck, but is it worth it if you're not being able to get home? And you know, I feel like if I was younger and I got into this like I was supposed to. Been out so much would have been like so much easier, but I'm at the point where it's like about time for me to start having a family and stuff. So I'm like, dang, I'm supposed to like find a a wife, and if I'm like all over the place all the time. So yeah, I stayed there. I did a OTR over the road for three months. I mean, I'm tripping oh, for six months, and I decided to go to Swift. I mean, I decided to leave Swift for Arnold because they said that they would get me home every week. Okay, let's go to Arnold. So I go to Arnold. Uh, they got a new president trying to change stuff up. There might be an issue, though. But I go to Arnold, and... Okay, start off pretty good. Well, Arnold, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So Arnold, they have a transition pay, the bonus pay. So pretty much, you supposed to have a guarantee of how much you make. Uh, since I'm home every week, it's supposed to be, um, uh, like eight hundred. Yeah, I'm supposed to make no less than eight hundred before taxes key thing before taxes so yo um oh shit i got a mosquito up in here (laughs) oh like mosquitoes oh so 800 before taxes right so i could expect like low 700 high 600 a week so that was cool I wasn't really tripping about that, but again, they started having issues. Like I'm doing all these road uh, routes. Um, no, let me go back to the transition pay. Transition pay, they said with a uh, a thousand bonus, like two hundred 
one week, four hundred. No, two hundred one week, three hundred next week. That <laughs> damn mosquitoes. Uh, 200, 300, 300, 200. And like, first week, 200, second week, 300, third week, 300, fourth week, 200. So while you're getting that, they pretty much don't give you that guarantee pay. That's the trick. Bastards. So, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this on stuff. So... They was, uh, after their, their guarantee, like, the first month, they try to, that's how they rip you off. Um, so, yeah. Uh, after a month, the, get, the bonus stops, and the guarantee is supposed to kick in. So, yeah, I got the guarantee for, like, a month. A month. So, yeah. For some reason, they stopped paying me the guarantee. I'm guessing they saying I wasn't making a miles or something. Like, the way they had me running did not make sense. It did not make sense at all. Like, all these places, like, you tripping, I'm not getting the miles. But the places that you sent me are had me taking forever to get loaded. I'm waiting, like, three, four hours to get loaded. I was dropping off a load, then I gotta go somewhere else to pick up a load. Like the one only positive thing is like the lowest you can make for from making a load is uh it's a hundred. So yeah, you make that make that hundred a load. <sighs> yeah. I just say this week my paycheck was five hundred. Yeah, they didn't even give me the guarantee. Uh, yeah, on the transportation. Yeah. Their trucks are old. And it's funny. Everybody else in orientation with me. <laughs> so orientation supposed to take like, what, two or three days? It's crazy because everybody that's supposed to be leaving on that second day, 32nd day, they couldn't leave. Because the truck that was given was not working. One dude was like, oh, he, he got his first load going to Louisiana. He got to the Louisiana border. His truck broke down. He had to get towed all the way back to uh to Dallas. And Iron, Iron, Ivoring, Ivoring, pretty much over where Arterton is. You know, shout out to the king of the hill. <laughs> but yeah, this dude said he had to get towed all the way back. So you know they ain't wanna pay him for that. But yeah. Yeah, they're not even like keeping up with they they that guarantee pay. So, you know, um two hours ago I got my tanker's license. I'm from Houston. You know, Houston is so big. We have a part of Houston that is pretty much called Trucker City. It's a Mesa Road. Yeah, you know about Mesa Road and uh, over there. Uh, yeah. Bruh. I don't like mosquitoes at all. Hold on. Let me. I gotta start up the car so I can raise these windows up. You know. I don't kill the mosquito. <laughs> Bro. But, uh, I'm <laughs> sorry about that, but, yeah, I'm about to get my tankers. Um, uh, there are so many truck companies in Houston. So it's like finding a place to drive in Houston. Yeah. I love Swift because they couldn't give me a dedicated route. I left Arnold because they refused to put me on a dedicated route. So, yeah, I found a, a place that, that said uh, they'll treat me better. So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, um, 
I don't really think I have anything else to say about Orno or Swift. I mean, Swift, they let you get on after you have four months, four to six months of experience. Like I said, they are good companies to start off with, but you're a fool if you don't upgrade yourself because there is always something better out there. Always something better. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much my summary for Swift and Arnold. Um, pretty much where I'm at right now with my trucking career. I think I got another mosquito. Man, Houston and these mosquitoes. Man, let me go get some mosquito spray right quick. I'm not playing around, man. I already like see two bites on my arm. But uh yeah, uh I know you notice know my YouTube name is DJ Triton. Yeah. I'm doing this for the music. So this whole trucking career thing, yeah. Houston, Texas, baby. But this whole <laughs> whole trucking career, it's just to like get me started with the fun so I can like Fun as music, but you know, I'm still working on the music, so y'all yeah, want to go check that out too? I appreciate it. I got like a couple of music videos uh, posted on my channel, I know uh, SoundCloud. I'm still working on some new stuff. I went to school for audio engineering and stuff, and you know, I DJ, I paused the DJ, sold all my equipment so I can get into trucking. And now that I'm in trucking, like, I'm saying sometime next year, I'm going to go ahead and just, like, upgrade all the equipment, upgrade from the equipment I had before, and, like, get back to, get back into it. But, yeah, I'll keep y'all posted up. DJ Trading, now you know, Street.